Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So if you guys are anything like me, the factual stuff is the scary stuff. And nothing is more terrifying than a documentary about an event or a person that gives you the realization that horror hits way too close to home. Before I begin, I just want to let you guys know that I have created this little Netflix icon that pops up in the corner of the screen if the movie that I'm talking about at the time is available on Netflix. And this is only in some countries, so definitely check your own country, but I just wanted to give you a ballpark to know if you can watch it online or you have to get it on DVD. So let's start with the documentary that I'm done to tell you guys about. It's called Killer Legends. And this documentary is pretty much a horror lover's dream. It goes through American urban legends and talks about their origins and whether they're true or not. It touches on a few of them, but my favorite one was the one about Halloween candy and whether it's poisoned or not, or whether that's an urban legend. And the truth will terrify you. For those of you who are terrified by evil children, and I know there's a lot of you, A Child of Rage is so so mega creepy. If you guys haven't seen this documentary, it's pretty famous. It's about a little girl who's suffering from RAD, which is Reactive Attachment Disorder, and this is a result of sexual abuse. The things that this girl says and the way she reacts to humans and to animals is totally terrifying. If you guys decide to watch this movie, or if you're already a fan of this movie, I urge you to look up what actually happened to Beth and where she is now. It's pretty surprising. The next one I want to quickly mention is actually the movie I talked about in my story time, Sleep Paralysis. It's called The Nightmare, and it basically goes through different people's encounters with sleep paralysis and how terrifying they can be. Definitely don't watch this one before you go to bed. A personal favorite of mine and one of the best documentaries I've ever seen, it's definitely up there in my top five, is called The Imposter. And this movie, although it doesn't seem very sinister, the message it brings out at the end and you take away from it is really chilling and the questions that have not been answered are probably the scariest parts. It's put together really well, it's really slick, it's really modern, it's got reenactments, which I love, but it also has interviews with the main culprits and um, people involved in the situation. This is one of the movies I'm telling you right now, don't look anything up about it. If you go in not knowing anything, I promise you'll get more out of it. The next movie I want to talk about is Cropsy, and I know a lot of you guys like this movie because I've heard a lot of you guys mention it to me. And this is actually made by the same people who made Killer Legends, the first movie I mentioned. This movie tells the disturbing tale of the Crosby, who is like the boogeyman on Staten Island. He takes kids and made it unsafe to go out at night. And growing up there, people were really scared of him, but they also thought he was an urban myth. Now looking back, they realize there's actually a bit of truth behind the tale. Although Cropsy came before Killer Legends, this movie is entirely just on this one boogeyman where Killer Legends is on a few things and more broad. This movie is actually really intense and really sad. It has a lot of abuse, violence, just things that you don't want to see unless you're okay to be disturbed. Speaking of disturbing, Just Melvin, Just Evil is a documentary about the director who takes a look at his own family and the problems they have. It all relates back to Grandpa Melvin and his disgusting, incest, abusive ways and it is gut-wrenching. I can't tell you enough. Oh god, it's awful. It's also super captivating because it's obviously about the director's own family. This film really gets the director emotionally charged and you can see all the terrifying consequences that have been caused by Melvin's behavior. If you're after a short fix, Suicide Forest is bound to freak you out and bound to leave you with this eerie, sticky feeling that you just can't get away from. This one's a Vice movie so you can find it on their website and watch it for free. It's about basically what it says it is. It's a rainforest in Japan where people go to commit suicide. And it's just dark and sad and a very lonely story. It's so sad to think that places like this exist. It's definitely a disturbing trip. So some of these films on this list are definitely going to get to your emotions, but this one is going to be, you know, like this is the most heart-wrenching documentary you'll ever see, hands down, I promise. This one is called Dear Zachary. This is a bit like The Imposter. I'm going to tell you not to look up anything about this movie because it will just ruin it for you. You're meant to go along with the journey. All I can say is that subject matter will leave you crying and angry, and I think I've already said too much. This movie is just gonna give you chills and really stay with you, and you might lose a little bit of faith in humanity. My last doco to make this list is Aileen, The Life and Death of a Serial Killer. This movie is amazing and this really got me into disturbing documentaries. This is by Nick Broomfield who is amazing and he does a couple of other documentaries about famous personalities I want to say. I think he did one on Kurt Cobain, one on like Biggie I think. Um, but this is definitely my favourite. So this movie is obviously about Aileen Warnos and the most amazing thing happened when he was making this documentary. He became friends with her and he gets an insight into her personal like psyche and life and her mind and what's actually happening to her. You can't get anywhere else 
whilst you can't read about this stuff, it's amazing. And I think that there's two versions of this. I think one was a set date and then he became friends with her so much so that he was invited to her execution and the second one came out after her execution. So that's the 2003 version. So definitely if you're gonna watch any, watch that one because it gives you a bigger picture. It's just an amazing insight into a serial killer's mind that I don't think any other documentary has shown and I definitely recommend it. Okay guys, that's my list of really disturbing documentaries that I really like. If you guys have any documentaries that you think are similar to these ones, I really wanna hear about it because I love watching documentaries. Leave your suggestions down in the comments below and hopefully we can all share them and get the conversation going. Hope you guys are having a great day. Please thumbs up this video if you can. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky. Bye.